are in downtown Phoenix, Arizona, back at Game On Expo. This is the only expo ever that we've never missed one single expo since the day it started. Finally, again, Game On Expo 2019. I'm pumped because I love this expo so much. We're going to Game On Expo day two, one, two, one, two, one of these days. We're going right now. I'm actually pretty pumped. We went a day previous and kind of looked at some stuff, put some stuff on hold, but we didn't buy anything. So today we're here, the whole crew ready to buy. We kind of like went there yesterday, but it wasn't, we didn't buy anything yet. So I'm excited because we're going to buy stuff. We're going to try to make it every single one, no matter what. Even if we die. Yes. I'm going to have my kids like bring like a cremate me and like drop a little like dust every time they come. Whatever. That's true addiction. <laughs> oh. Game on Expo. Get your game on. <laughs> Mine finally on Game Chasers. Yeah, this is for uh, uh, the Game Quest. Right when we walk in, we see 8-Bit Eric and Jay. I feel like I see them at the same expos all the time. I think we're on like the same expo schedule. So oh, we come up with, he has to blur it out. That's extra hours of editing. Oh, this is PG-13 game. PG. Disney. Do you know, I literally <laughs> watched an Billy edit an episode one time. They kind of make it feel like home. It's, all, it's always good to see them. You know, you see Jay and you see Eric, you're like, we're at an expo. And just for like a two minute segment, Billy had to edit that for over an hour just to blur your cuss words, Alpha's cuss words. Yep. Eric, though, I love him. We're at this booth and Ricky and Gabo are both buying things, but Gabo grabs something that I think is darn amazing. All right, look at this beauty. <laughs> Ah, oh, smell like vintage. It's this sealed, pretty big Mario, retro Super Mario water game. It's one of those games you push the buttons and no, it's not the ones where the rings have to land on the little spikes. Instead, you go through like a maze by pushing the water and it kind of shoots the Mario little ball all the way through until it gets to the end. You know what, I don't know if I ever told you that I want to be the Brown Indiana Jones. So me and Gabo go into this booth. He finds this cool little, it's actually pretty cool, this little water toy. So this is perfect for my Brown Indiana Jones quest. And it's sealed and it's perfect. And I know Gabo got it for like $40, which I think is a really good price. Actually, it might even been a little less than that. Control direccional de jet de agua. So he's like. So this thing, to see Gabo get it, this is one of those things I'm jealous of. Ultra Nintendo Oddities. Never seen it before, never seen anyone talk about it. Heck, there wasn't really much information about it either. So Gabo, I admit. Look at this beauty. I don't know if I ever told you, you got a good score. But in the case, I see this like folded up, almost like linen rag. I'm like, dude, can I check that out? The guy pulls it out. It's like a Nintendo, some kind of club Nintendo. I don't even know where. It's a Nintendo rag, okay? Look at this. It's a my Nintendo. It's just a rag, but dude, I love this kind of weird little knickknacks. I like this, I like figures, and dude, we're in the exact spot I want to be. And I asked the guy, I'm like, well, how much you want for this? He's like, three bucks. I was like, three bucks? No brainer for a Nintendo rag. Let me smell it. Oh, it's, it's vintage. What'd you do with it? Polished my car. You polished your car with it? <laughs> Something to wipe myself with now. It's a Nintendo card now. <laughs> Did you really? No. Oh, you had me worried. <laughs> that would be pretty funny though. Whatever. It is what it is. Nice pickup. <laughs> stuff for my arcade room for a while. I'm like really focused on like lights, making it look pretty. Recently I made a new game room and it's an arcade slash game room. But what I pride myself in is this room is all for accessibility. It's not for kind of storing my knickknacks, which I love, but it's for playing games and looking at a beautiful game room with great accessibility. Knickknacks stay out of that room. But we found a guy yesterday 
who had some sweet signs, NES light up signs, switch signs, all that stuff. So when you see a sign, they kind of stick out. We found them, they're over here. I see this booth called Collector Protector and these people, I kind of see them at a lot of expos. We're here with Collector Protector is their name. We see these, these people at expos all the time actually. They're always at expos, we see them. So I got this. But recently they started making some light up signs. There's some etching in them and they put Nintendo signs and Sega signs. They have some Sonic signs. So I go over there and I ask how much because I know this thing will look beautiful. And they're 25 bucks. I think that's a pretty good deal for a sign that lights up. No, it's not retro, it's not old school, it's new. Here you go. Hey, yeah. hey. Let's see, how let's see. Let's see. I see a Nintendo one and that's the one I'm gonna go for. Straight up original Nintendo. I already have a Sega Genesis sign. I have a Super Nintendo sign. I need to go back with the good old Nintendo. So I pick it up. 25 bucks and oh man, this thing lights up like a beauty. It's red. Dabo's gonna have switch and blue. Eight yeah. different colors. Yeah, so it's exciting. Okay. Collector protector. Thank you guys. You guys like made my night. I, I've already put uh, that thing up in my room and it, it's. That, that, I almost got that one yesterday. Little Sega one with Sonic on there. I almost got that. It's beautiful. It's like as beautiful as seeing Ricky in his underwear after eating Del Taco. Oh! <laughs> You got sucked in. <laughs> now I'm talking with you with power. The best thing, actually, it is the best thing. Nice, nice. Yes. I love about these. Well, I just love about period. Well, Gabble's getting deported. <laughs> to Canada? <laughs> to Canada. They'll take. We'll them. take them. Oh, we'll take oh, you. Canada, oh Canada. We, it's goofing around, especially with the fans. I love how goofy everyone is and it seriously like warms my heart. I can't do that. <laughs> it's the best thing. Thanks, brother man. Yeah. <laughs> you want Look at that hat, he's just so excited, I like this guy. That's, that's, a, awesome. that's a nice guy right there. Uh, no, you're a nice guy. Uh. So Gabo does actually some pretty cool. It's like something different. I have an idea. There's a mystery box over here for five bucks. Gabo's rich. There's a guy doing a five dollar mystery box. You just stick your hand in there and put five dollars and pull out a card. He's gonna do a mystery pull. Pull something out of a box. With power. With power. I'm like, dude, that's pretty cool. Five bucks, let's see what it is. So Gabo decides to do it. No peeking. What do you want? Uh, so I, 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 always, I can feel the... First card he pulls out is some weird hockey game. Oh. Oh. <laughs> and then I'm like, oh, I, I, yeah, that's cool. The guy's pretty cool about it. He's like, listen. He just no told regret. Gabo that he's gonna let no, him pull it no again regret, for free. Man. No regret. He, no said regret. Go. he said the best way to do it is just go and go. Okay. I'll let you have the second one for free. I was like, sick. Think about it. Just pull in and pull out. What is it? What? Super Famicom. It's crazy. So Gabo sticks it in again. Pulls out another cart. It was a Super Famicom game. I'm like, oh, you know, you know. It's a slot racing uh, game for the Super Famicom. Uh, yeah. So G Gabo pays another five bucks. You know what? I'm gonna do it again. Sticks his hand again a third time. Oh, and for the beginning, he tried to use the power glove. It did not fit in that thing very well. Oh, oh no, his glove doesn't. You're gonna have to pull with regular power. But sticks it in the third time, pulls something out. This is N64, let's see. Oh. That's a good game. That's a good game. Okay, that's nah. a good game. It was WCW versus NWO on the N64. Actually, really fun game. Let me start with power. Really fun. That was worth the five bucks right there. The other ones, not so much. Thanks, guys. Master Chief, and you know what? I, what I, for why I 
love these because there's the, oh, the master. Because you like Ramsey, Master Chef. The buys just keep on coming. They're everywhere at Game On Expo. Five bucks? I don't know if I would tell you that I collect Xbox controllers. You can't see me, can you? When we're going around, we run into our buddies Rudy and Trung. I met Rudy years ago at E3 and we hung out and kind of became friends since then. All right, so yesterday we came here early and dude, Rudy here, these boys right here. But when we got to this expo, they made us some giant patches and I'm talking literally like this big. Dude, they gave us the coolest, like biggest patches you can think of. My, I have a bonks one that's this big. These be amazing, beautiful patches with perfect precision stitching and the colors light up. It's almost like there's like a little glow on some of these. My boy right here, Trunk, runs an embroidery shop in uh, the Bay Area. We're from Cali, by the way, so yeah. Uh, Thank you guys so much. These truly, truly are probably some of the best things we picked up. And I already put my patches on some of my clothes, <laughs> even on my son's backpack. Oh my gosh, they're beautiful, they're gorgeous. A lot of people saw us carrying them around and they were like, where did you guys get those? And I was like, Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior sent them down from the heavens above. She always is mean to me. We give you guys an opportunity to each pick one. Oh. Not these are not for sale. This is just purely because you know you guys are awesome. Ooh, and fine. they actually gave us more patches, smaller patches, but still nice patches. And we had they let us just kind of pick through them. <laughs> to be honest, my my jacket's a very light blue, so I'm gonna go Pac-Man because it would look nice with the the light colors and see what we wanted to get. And uh, we all got something we were happy with. Oh, <laughs> So it was a good time, buddy. Let me see the ball. Drop it. Okay, go! It's over there. What? I just give it to you. Dude! Hey, there you go. Oh, Thanks, guys! Thank so oh my god! Wow, look at your dog. He literally didn't run away. He like loves you. me. Good job, Brady. We shall call him Gabo. Alright, so the coolest thing I probably saw at the convention was something our buddy Rudy picked up. The vendor brought him a cool piece for a trade. It says, oh, it says this on the box. I can't believe he picked it up. It was it's it was there last year and I'm I mean I couldn't afford it, but he got a great deal. He traded I think three games for it. But this thing is brand new. What year is this? I don't even know. It's, okay. it's the early 90s because this is like Sonic 1. Uh oh. Uh oh. Bro, I'm getting nervous, bro. Me too. Is it Shenmue? Is it? Oh, I wish. I know you're the Shenmue guy. But it was this. Check this out. Uh oh. Oh, look at that. That's a real grail item. Yeah. See, a lot of people awesome. nowadays, cool. so cool. I've been through the run of like games being grails, but I'm kind of into this being like grails and stuff. Now this is so it is gorgeous, so cool. it is brand new. Giant Sega sign that you can write on. It was like a promotional thing, so it's a giant Sonic and it's got like a little whiteboard that you scribble on and it was like a Sega promotion. Like you could write what, at game stores, you can write what, this, what Sega items are coming up. So where are you putting it? Uh, in my store. Oh, Actually, nice. we, yeah, we got a store opening up Ooh, next store. month in uh, downtown Campbell. So it'd be called the Retro Fix, teamed along with AFK XP and Level Up Arcade. So, yeah. But, dude, to see one of these and clean brand new was amazing. Super jealous. So happy for him, though. Dude, Rudy, awesome job, dude. Dude, that is sick. It's it cool piece. still pretty jealous, though. That would have gone perfect with my sign over here at home. <laughs> Rudy, 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 Rudy.
I've been intermittent fasting for like three weeks now, so uh, my stomach is rumbling. It's time to go eat. We got to get out there. We're going to go out with Vintage Video Game Geek. It's beautiful out here in uh, downtown Phoenix. The sun is shining. There's like trolleys going by. People are smiling. We're with Vintage. It's just a good feeling being out here in, in Arizona. Oh, you live out here. Yeah. Is this normal temperature out here? Yes. Do you shirtless tan like I do in the sun? Uh, I get red. Hey. Get some food at five, guys. Enjoy the sun. Walk around. Beautiful. I'm loving more and more downtown Phoenix. You know what? I'm I'm one with the sun. I'm one with the wind. So we go around and we we eat, and it's uh, good to enjoy the day. I never been to a Suns game. I I would like to go, but the tickets are very expensive. So this is the spot where last year we were here and a lot of things changed in our lives. It's a weird moment. It is weird. weird things happened. Crazy stuff. After we eat, we're walking back to the expo and we see a sight. Memories that were made here last year. They were pretty, they were pretty significant. Not gonna lie. And then we remember this is, this is the location where a lot of things went down. This thing. A lot of memories, a lot of pain, a lot of heartache, a lot of suffering. I dove back as hard as I could right into a meter pedestal. When Riff says he's hurt, he's hurt. He's hurt. Well, I went to the doctors yesterday and I've broken red. Some great things, but mostly a lot of bad things happened over here. My watch, my watch is gone. Is gone. I, was I was wearing my wearing brand, new, brand new, new N64 watch. I, 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 I look at the guys and I'm like, dude, my watch is gone. Hey, what's going on? You look sad. Yeah, I lost something very special to me here. I can't believe that was one year ago today. I broke my rib. <laughs> Ricky lost his watch. And now none of us have it. Come back here every day trying to find it. I'm sorry, it's just gone. I'm sorry, bro. I'm with you. I'm with you. I remember when Gabo told me that I was the most handsome man with the nicest hair and the softest skin at this convention last year. Really? Yeah. No. What are you guys talking oh. about? Come on, Amber. That never happened. Come on. Look at this guy. So the next booth we go to is Nick with 1UP. We see our buddy Nick from 1UP Games. He's also been in a Game Chasers, some videos before with the Game Chasers. Oh, he's filming. <laughs> Got him. Let's <laughs> go. <laughs> and we're all kind of buying different things from him. Ricky's buying some toys. Gabo bought a Halo toy. We're interested in this. Oh yeah. I don't know why that's there. He had like a little Nintendo Z bag in the back that he had all these toys in and he let us look at them So we were going through them dude. I was excited. I love when there's stuff in the back Actually both things I'm getting are toy biz. Yeah, I think I'm pretty sure toy biz Mario Which is the Mario Kart one the little he doesn't have his mar his cart But I look through the pile and I find two things I really want which is a toy biz Mario from Mario Kart It's like it was missing the cart, but I have the cart I actually have two of the carts, so I needed that Mario. Still really cool. And I also got uh, Halo, another Toy Biz Halo. They're both Toy Biz, oddly enough. And then an, a Toy Biz Halo figure. This is the same one you got? No. It's pretty sick. It's like a black one I don't have. I have a ton of them, but not that one. So I was pretty happy to add them into the collection. Funny. And he's gonna do two, both for 10, which is pretty sick. I mean, I'm down for it. It's beautiful. It's B E A beautiful. And I'm getting this Master Chief with the shotgun. Master Chef. Master Chef, right? <laughs> but for me, I see something that I was really jealous of when I was watching the Game Chasers a while back. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. I didn't even know they made anything like that. Does it surprise me there's a Mario 64 camera? No, it doesn't. I mean, if they have a sewing machine, why not a camera? 
and I think Jay didn't even make as big a deal about it as I would if I was there. I'm getting, and I know Jay got this before recently in an episode, and I remember watching it and being super jealous, but I see a Nintendo 64, a Mario 64 from 1997 camera. It's a Super Mario 64 camera. It's from 1997. It does have a built-in flash. It's just one of those things that's like one of those random accessories that goes perfect to go on any shelf. It's a good condition. I know there's a lot of different color variants of this thing, and I was really jealous when I saw Jay pick it up. This is like the go-to stuff to collect for me, and this like really caught my eye. But secondly, secondly, and this might be one of my favorite things I picked up as far as collector-ish type things are, I saw another one over there. I'll be honest, it was double your price, so sorry. But that's a pair of 1988 vintage Super Mario Bros. suspenders. It's all good. So for 15 bucks, 1988 Super Mario Bros. suspenders. These are the red ones with stark white Mario Bros. on the back. And actually the white on it is like super crispy and clean, so at first when I saw it, I was like, oh, maybe it's like a newer one that was made to look retro, but no, this is 1988 Super Mario Bros. suspenders. There's also a blue pair that exists as well. But to find the red ones for so cheap, I also saw that cheaper than I've seen at other booths, which I've only seen them maybe that weekend was the only time I've ever seen them. So these are awesome. These are perfect knickknack stuff. Probably hang it on the wall somehow like that. But when I see things that I'm like, okay, you don't hear people going, oh, this is the uncommon this or the rare this. No, it's just never talked about. So Mario suspenders, I'm gonna look snazzy in them. Or you can use it a baby Bjorn, something like that. <laughs> Come on, Brady, let's ride away in the sunlight. Yeah. Right here, right here. Ah. Nice. Nice. <laughs> That's because I'm terrific. <laughs> you I love stickers look at that <laughs> flawless victory I got this for five bucks nice now you're off of the squad <laughs> Isn't that zombie video? Amazing. What is that? What's <laughs> up? Uh oh. You know, someone came by the booth was asking for you. What? Yeah, I know. How are you? I was like, I don't know that guy. Oh. The show came up to me and was like, hey, you guys should come to my booth. I'm, I watch the show and I want to see you guys do a blindfolded Street Fighter 2 challenge. Double, where you at? Double. Here. Where's the TV? Right here? Here. Are we, oh, wait, when do we go? You don't really have a rhythm to it. You like lose on, you forget what side you are right away. You jump once. You're like, is he under me? Is he on the, but I will say, Ricky really was bad at it. Ah, Ricky, do something. No, he's going to have to get it perfect. Oh, what happened? Doesn't mean he's 
bad at Street Fighter, but he, for some reason, just the blindfolding, he kept getting smoked. Just like when the blindfold's off. You're just good doggy. <laughs> see that? You see my hands right now? Okay. That's it for filming wise. We're off to go game hunt tomorrow with no camera. So we will see you guys later. This is pretty sweet. I mean, it's resealed, obviously, but to find something from the 19, literally from 1980. I've been looking for this game. This game is really a hidden gem. That's it for today's episode. We bought, a, we bought a lot of stuff. It was really fun. Yeah. And he tries to pull the brown card, but it only yeah. works like hey, once I a year. Even, I, say a Puerto Rican. I didn't even use the brown card yet. Puerto Rican payments. And honestly, I'm pretty bummed that it's coming to an end. And uh, we're gonna go back out and game hunt some more, but not with the camera. We gotta let the camera out once in a while. So that's it, Game Hunt Expo 2019, under wraps. We'll see you guys next time. Have a good day. Yay! Yay! Not happening. Ricky, how's your pee pee? It's fantastic now. Oh gosh, <laughs> go ahead. Oh, it's going. Hey, can I have your camera? Nah. That's mine, man. You got that little whatever that is. A you got case. Hey, hey, a secret. Scorpion is round, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Soy but mexicano. Ahí está. Ahí está. I will let you all three rock, paper, scissors for this. Reveal town! Get your boom shakalaka squared! Brown power. Yeah. <laughs> rock, paper, scissor form. Ready? Rock, paper, scissors. Shoot. Shoot. Well, that was well, very well, awkward. Well. That was awkward. Yeah, yeah, let's do it again. Oh, no, no, we're no, not. No, 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 because you. I, 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 not fair. Come on. See ya. Right there. That was you cheater. Yeah. Ricky, you like this view? Wow. How was it? It's spectacular. Stinking foam. It disappeared with that foam. Get your fanny pack. Amazon.com. $8.99. What a deal. Ricky, are you still looking for it? The watch is gone, bro. <coughs> It is what it is. It is what it is. It is what it is. And he joined the squad. <laughs> Biggest mistake. I'm down here. Whatever. It is what it is. Here's my twin brother. Uh -huh. I did too, but I can never have him. Never talk with the camera. Brady. Hey, 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 you're not allowed on the show anymore. Can you touch it? Yeah, please. Yeah, you can't handle the power in the power Ooh. one, bro. Oh, let me see. Let there me go. see this. I transfer the power let to me you. Oh, I feel the power. Nice. Hi, Pete. Oh. Huh? So. Hey. Free. <laughs> Freaky. Where's Freaky? There's a lot of slides on my hands. He's going to do it again. Oh, look yeah, at this. This is I like it's it. getting wild. I like it. Maybe? <laughs> Bye. 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 Oh, no. I'm not that flexible. Oh, actually, I kind of did. It feels really good. Oh, actually, really? pull a little higher. Go a little higher. Oh, Complex will be at Southeast Game Exchange. Oh, God. Oh. Oh, he doesn't Oh, no. You're going to have to pull it, it with regular power. Done. Hold on. Power! Power! Oh. Really good. Let's go. He's really, in there. Really good price, too. Right? Probably shouldn't have done that. Can I get you? No, wait, I wasn't supposed to do that. Uh oh. Really wasn't. Oh, 